How's it going? This is Alex Malone with Liquid Arts Entertainment, and I'm here with Kate Markgraf, an Olympic class, world class athlete here. And we also have Becca Rue, the U.S. Women's National Team Players Association Executive Director. That's an earful. So. <laughs> but they just got off a panel here talking about the gender uh, gap in pay uh, in, between women's and men as well. Uh, I thought some pretty interesting insights that you guys had on there too. Um, could you kind of explain about that, what you guys thought, and kind of just some things that you talked about on the panel for those who didn't see that? Sure. I mean, it's a huge topic and it's really difficult to put down in bullet points. But essentially, you know, we have to work together and I think it's a common cliche thing, but I've lived firsthand where we work together and we created a players association. And then we kind of got separated and we lost a little bit of energy and that players association went away. And since we're in that catch up space where we're not quite equal, we don't make the same revenue, we need to keep that energy going, support one another, not only as athletes on the same team, but just women in general supporting each other in whatever pursuits that we go for. Yeah, I think uh, what we talked about a lot was building off of also what people that were pioneers in the sport did and taking it forward the next step. There is a, a gap that we're trying to fill and it's not going to happen all at once. It's going to be an iterative process that requires all of us to continue to work together, just as Kay was saying. So for this event too, what are you most excited about? Or what have you seen that really excited you about today's event so far? First of all, anytime you get in the room with Julie Fowdy and Sarah Spain and everyone else here, there's such positive vibes. You walk away energized and really happy that ESPNW is a platform where all these personalities can get highlighted and their message can get broadcast to a bigger audience. So I have a huge appreciation for today. I love too that there's they're streaming it live and that other people can engage that are not physically here and the ESPNW is taking it to different cities. So I know this is the second time it's been here in Chicago and it, it shows that there's just a really energetic group of women that probably have all their own stories to tell and hopefully those stories are being told around the tables during breaks. So this is also an interesting question. Name a time where you did something nice for somebody you didn't know. What did you do and why did you do it? Two weeks ago, I was at Starbucks and I had extra money on my Starbucks card. And I saw this woman in a, her hair was all over the place. She was in a minivan. And it was at, you know, that four o'clock witching hour if you have kids. I don't know if you do, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And I just paid for her coffee. Or I'm like, whatever she gets, just put it on this. Here's 10 bucks, there you go. The rest will be tip for you because, you know what, that's gonna brighten her day and it'll get her to that eight o'clock bedtime or maybe 7.30 if she's lucky so that she got through another day. bend the rules a little bit. I'm gonna say, my, also at a coffee shop, my barista that I'd known kind of just casually talking to getting my coffee every morning, he disclosed that he was currently homeless and I was gonna be out of town for two weeks and so I let him stay in my apartment for two weeks. I didn't even save his number into my phone, but six months later I started going back to that coffee shop after a long period of traveling and now we're like buddies, we talk every day. But at that point I didn't really know him. I just let him stay in my apartment for two weeks. Wow, right, <laughs> right, right, we're done. <laughs> Last question, I appreciate both of your time. What are you most grateful for in your life? I know it's probably a big question, but out of everything that you experienced so far in your life, what are you most grateful for? I'm most grateful for the fact I had an opportunity to pursue something I loved. And not everyone gets those opportunities. So when you have it, you have a responsibility to try to create those for others, the same type of chances. Because if you don't have a chance, where can you go? And you live such a half-life at that point. So I'm most thankful that I actually had a chance. I, I echo the same thing, that my I come from a family that believed in trust, try anything you want. And I was given those opportunities. And I want constantly to let other people have the chance to do it too. So try to create those as well. Awesome. Well, Kate, Becca, thanks so much for appreciating how you guys having here. It was an awesome time talking to you. Thank you for having me. All right. Me.